Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province recently received truckloads of aid for medical facilities from Jindo County of South Chola Province for the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Such interregional cooperation exemplifies the solidarity of Koreans in the battle against this contagion and stands in contrast to the lockdowns of affected regions seen in other nations. At this center, boxes of aid items are being reloaded on waiting trucks. These boxes will be delivered to patients and medical personnel who are fighting to overcome COVID-19. The boxes are filled with local specialty items of Jindo County. These items include marine and agricultural products donated by Jindo residents. Jindo residents have been sending aid to Daegu City and North Gyeongsang Province. Noting that the number of confirmed cases was increasing in Seoul and Gyeonggi regions, they immediately sent donations valued at 33 million Korean won to Gyeonggi. These donations were delivered to COVID-19 treatment facilities in the province. Jindo 국민들의 사랑과 정성이 담긴 지역 특산물 정말 잘 받았습니다. 진심으로 감사를 드립니다. 이 전달된 물품은 코로나 극복을 위해서 혼신을 다하고 계시는 의료진들의 전달에서 그분들이 더욱 힘을 내서 코로나 극복에 each nation employs different strategies in its fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Koreans are working in solidarity through interregional efforts to help patients recover while caring for medical professionals who help the patients. In the spring of 2020, Korea is emerging as a proud nation with people who are working together to overcome the COVID-19 crisis. On April 9th, Gyeonggi Province announced that it will release emergency funds of 2.45 trillion Korean won to facilitate economic recovery from the impact of COVID-19. These funds will be utilized through various economic quarantine programs as referred to by the Gyeonggi Provincial Administration. These programs, which include financial, employment and small business support, will primarily focus on recovering the economic stability of residents. 먼저 소상공인 중소기업이 코로나 19로 인한 경제 위기에서 견딜 수 있도록 특별 경영 자금을 9,200억 원을 확대하여 적기에 지원하겠습니다. Issued in the form of financial guarantees for SMEs and small businesses, these additional funds will increase total financial guarantee availability to 4 trillion Korean won. Application processing will also be expedited from the average 27 days to 14 days or fewer. Kyunggi will also pay monthly support of 500,000 Korean won for a period of two months to those who fall in employment blind spots, including employees on unpaid leave of absence and freelancers, while increasing local currency discount rates up to 10% for local economic promotion until July. 앞으로도 감염병 문제는 경제 문제와 직결된다는 인식을 가지고 민생 경제 회복을 위해 상황에 맞는 핀셋 정책을 준비하여 선제적이고 신속하고 정확한 대응을 지속 추진하도록 하겠습니다. Gyeonggi Province also plans to invest 1 billion Korean won in COVID-19 treatment development including clinical trial support. To counter the near monopoly of an existing food delivery app, Gyeonggi Province recently signed an agreement with Gunsan City, which currently operates a public delivery app for the sharing of that city's know-how. This agreement covers technical consultations and free utilization of the trademark for Gunsan City's public delivery app known as Beidale Myungsu, or Master of Delivery. Currently, this app offers no-cost, ad-free services 
that alleviate the burdens borne by businesses. It also provides discounts for payments made with local currency. Through the adoption of Gunsan City's app, Gyeonggi Province seeks to restore fair competition among small businesses while also preventing delivery app operators from making unreasonably high profits through monopolization. According to this agreement, Gunsan City will transfer related knowledge to the 31 cities and counties of Gyeonggi Province and allow them to use the Master of Delivery trademark free of charge. Based on this agreement, Gyeonggi Province will develop its own public app and designate a social enterprise for its operation while providing support for delivery worker mobilization and social safety networks. Gyeonggi Province recently announced plans to provide the culture, art and tourism industries that are suffering due to the COVID-19 pandemic with various supports including emergency operation support, vulnerable worker protection and public facility tenant discounts. Beck, a Sansan Campus Startup Center resident in sports education, has had almost no business for the past two months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Announced plans include the reduction of rents for 186 resident businesses at provincial facilities, including museums, art galleries and the Sangsan campus, as well as tourism facilities, for a period of one to six months, with the total reduction amounting to 330 million Korean won. In addition, 1,000 artists in distress will be provided with support of 1 million Korean won per person. There will also be a discount for prepayment campaign for tourist lodgings, special financial guarantee support for ceramic manufacturers, and online broadcast support for performance businesses. More than 900 freelance artists and 500 artistic groups will receive support for online educational content production and participation. The province will also provide Kyungi certified bookshops with delivery cost support of more than 100 million Korean won. More than 2,400 artists and 1,700 related groups facing difficulties due to the COVID-19 pandemic are expected to benefit from these new provincial support plans. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.